Hello there, my name is Michael, and Spirit of Adventure is a game that I just heard about very recently when I was looking into the history of the German video games Realms of Arcania. This game seems also to have been made in Germany and released both on DOS and Amiga, and the DOS version is what I'm playing right now. And um, I know very, very little about this game and what's going on here. But it is a party-based RPG, and that's what I love. So, you know, I you know I, I I really want to check it out. I have not really played very much of the Realms of Arcania games, but apparently this is the same engine, and they actually used this came first, and they used this for the more well-known Realms of Arcania games. Uh, the whole series of the Realms of Arcania games are based on the Swart. How do you say it in German? Schwarze Auge the Black Eye or the Dark Eye, which was their version of um, uh, Dungeons and Dragons that they had in the 1990s, or was it was the 80s, it was probably the 80s that they came into it when Dungeons and Dragons was growing in popularity in America, the Germans went and invented their own little version. And I do have some familiarity with playing um, the... Uh, uh, oh, what was the name of the game? Drakensang, a game from about 10 years ago. I was almost going to say a more recent game, but 10 years or more ago is not that recent, is it? Um, that was also set in the Dark Eye uh, universe. And... There we go. I don't know why my... Oh, it was waiting for me to type in my name. That's what it is. Because the mouse went away. I was like, what the heck is happening? I don't know anything about all of these people. I don't know what a Dice, Tedisian, Odinari, Allen. I forget the names of all the races and things there, but I'm not sure what I'm going to go for. But uh, I bet mean, a Samurai is nice. Everyone likes, likes a Samurai. I did see in some screenshots that this game has some epic um, <laughs> character portraits here. It looks fantastic. I guess I'm going to go with... Odinari, uh, body, mind, magic, strength, dexterity, IQ, charisma. Of course, I don't know what any of this means, so I don't know if I got a good roll or a bad roll, but I'm just going to retry to uh, just go up to Samurai, magic skill, turbo, mind, magic, dexterity, IQ, this could be terrible, but I'm going to accept it. Okay. Um, next character, I guess we do need a pre a um, magician. And uh, I wanted to make this female, but I guess not. Uh, Tedisian. Um, strength, dexterity, IQ 12. That's pretty good. But I'll try another... Let me check these other races here. So Magician, Dice, Magic Skill, Regeneration. I guess you get a random first spell based on what you, when you roll, which is a little bit odd. Hmm, I'll try again. Just check this last one, Alan. Hi, my name's Alan and I'm a race. I guess the Allens were a medieval horse archer people, now that I think about it, who still technically exists somewhere in Ossetia, I think. Uh, strength, Dexterity, IQ, Charisma, I, Mind, Magic. Yeah, I'll go with this. Sure. Again, no idea how many characters. I think I, I saw six characters there, or was it seven? Hmm. I'm not sure about that. Uh... And I guess we're going to have to go with Fairy? I heard that the Fairy was so... Oh, that's a good character portrait. This is, this is great. I think the Fairy is like a healer character, maybe? Okay, Magic Charm. 
don't know what charm is. Maybe I should have read the manual first, but, you know, sometimes it's fun to go in completely blind, you know? Okay, and booster. Sure. So we have a fairy, a samurai, and a magician. I think we're going to go for an Amazon next. Why not? Now, that's a good character portrait. I always love me some... Uh, semi-naked female characters. I know a lot of people accuse it of being sexist, but there were warriors that fought in the complete nude, like the Celts, uh, or um, other barbarian groups, and certainly some Native American groups fought virtually naked. And sometimes it was a good idea to strip down to being completely nude to fight, because if you were hit, you could actually impact your clothing or armor into your body, which was very, very dangerous. Um, what about a dicey? Magic skill, magic body, strength. I assume an Amazon is like a warrior, but I don't know necessarily. I mean, I'm guessing. I'm a neighbor of Valk for Valkyrie. Uh, what about Tedissian? Okay, strength is pretty good. Dexterity is not. Hmm. Maybe I should make her an od ordinary, too. Strength is good. Uh, jeez, I don't know. I'll try Tedissian again. Yeah, sure. Why not? A Tedissian. I'm very worried about actually trying the Realms of Arcania games because it feels like it's going to be in a a true, not a nightmare, but a real headache to figure out how to play them because there's some extreme complexity in how you move around in the games. You know, you have to be aware of your dungeoneering and adventuring skills, not just in combat. Fortunately, Drakensang sort of uh, piggybacked off of Neverwinter Nights 2, and it felt very similar to that and very simple. Grabbing some coffee there. And, um, hmm. So we have an Amazon, a samurai, a magician, and a fairy. I guess we can go for a priest? Maybe? That's always a good thing to have, right? And what should he be? A, a, a dicey? Maybe? Magic skill healer. You know what? We're going to accept that as healer. I don't know. I assume this magic skill is the starting spell they have. Um, I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's eight possible starting classes, and I'm guessing there are six characters that we have to, that we start with. I'm going to go with um, a goddess. I don't... Ooh, is she like a druid then, maybe? This is, again, the character portraiture perfection. This is like 10 out of 10. Magic skill armor. Hmm. A goddess like... Is a goddess like a mixed divine healer class, maybe? Magic 12. You know what? I'll go with that. Okay. Um, and let's see if we can add our characters. Let's see our samurai. Our Valkyrie. Uh, let's see. A, uh, yeah, our goddess. Priest. Fairy. And there we go. Hmm. Okay, so it is six characters. Okay, uh, save game. Do you want to save and delete old save? Yes. Uh, talk to principal. Uh, hi, I just wanted to mention that there was a recording error when I was doing this, and the first half of the video has the top part of the screen as just a black bar, and the bottom part of the screen is actually cut off. But I decided to just leave it in because the main game window is still visible, and this isn't so much a thrilling visual experience, because this is from over 30 years ago. So I completely understand if it bothers some people, but I just wanted to point that out there that I left it in. I like talking to the principal. It sounds like I'm in trouble. 
Welcome, dear heroes. I am Rowena, Lady Superior of Moon City. Just a few words before I leave you to your adventures, for I think I am in need of your valiant services. Lamarge, as you might already know, has been afflicted by a sort of lethal disease, a fairly dangerous drug called Apatar. Apatar is spread all over the country, addicting everybody tasting it. Lamarge is going to drown in its own vices. Since you have proven yourselves as experienced heroes, I ask you to help me and all the people living in Lamarge. Go find the one who calls himself the Dream Master, who enslaves every human being in this world. Go destroy his evil reign, for you have the guts to defeat this faceless emperor. If you will succeed in your quest, you will be rewarded with whatever treasure you can think of. Really? Like that cat? I can have that cat if I win. You're serious. Because I'll, I'll fight a, a demon for a cat. I'll fight a wizard for a cat. I'll fight anything for a cat. To help you on this dangerous quest, let me give you some items which I hope you may, help, may maybe have helped you. Farewell, my dear friends. I hope these are some good items that we're getting, and not junk items. Okay, um, hmm. Can I click on these? Oh, no, that's just like shifting their position, I think. I don't know what these runes are over here. What are they? What are runes? Okay, I'm going to save the game, I guess. I wonder if you can save everywhere. You just go... Okay, I'm going to exit the monastery. There we go. And we are in Holy Park. But I don't know how to like access my inventory or anything. Hmm. Do I even have an inventory screen? I like the backgrounds, it looks really cool. Hmm. Don't know what this... Uh, obviously no idea what, where to start or what to do. Or well, I can move the arrow keys too. Okay. Alright, can I go in this house? Oh, get the hell out of here, a man says forcefully. Jeez, calm down, bro. Okay, I don't think I can help you any further, Str the strangers, the man utters. We didn't help you at all. What do you mean? Uh, can I go in here already? I feel like maybe I... I don't have any help. Okay. Is this where I was before the monastery? Yeah, this is the monastery. Okay. Uh, hmm... Just pressing random keys, hoping it will it'll help me uh, find what to do. Game UI used to be very non-intuitive. But I guess, you know, it wasn't standardized at that point, so, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? I am not going to buy anything. The door slams shut. Ooh, that's cool. Main Street? All right. Tumble Avenue. Leave me be, someone shouts at you. See, this makes more sense than what happens in JRPGs, where you just walk into a house and rob them, and they're... Okay, these people are like, get out of here. We seem to be in some sort of desert-like community. I can shift the, where the characters are, but I can't, like... Click on... Any sort of stats or anything like that. Tumble Avenue. I don't think I can help you any further. You, these people haven't helped at all. They're a bunch of jerks. I'm trying to save the world. Hmm. Leave me be. All right. But it's fair. I am ooh, Epitaph Avenue. I'm just walking into their houses, so, you know, I mean, obviously that's... I kind of wish there was a, a compass marker at the top of the screen. Tristar Avenue. I guess they make movies here. Havoc Avenue. Hmm. Maybe we should leave the town? I'm not noticing any stores. Not that I could access my inventory in such a way to use anything. Which is unfortunate. 
I'm even trying the function keys in my desperation. Marble Arch, West End Road. Is there a place to exit this town? Bending Street. Hope we don't have to worry about food or anything, because um, it's very confusing getting around here. I don't know where to buy anything or do anything. A strange scent fills our noses as we enter the gloomy mystic parlor. Suddenly the seer appears in front of us, seemingly out of the blue. Seeing the future isn't cheap these days, it'll cost you 299 pieces of gold, Nurig Glissar mumbles, gesticulating importantly. No, we will not accept. Vamos, amigos, the seer says, pushing us out of the door back onto the street. Okay, that's um, strange, but at least it was something new. Hmm. Let's see, how do we get out of this city? Lynch mob? I, I don't want to be on this street. Is that the name of the street? Who named that street? Dear God. Uh, walk of the Gods. Maybe these people are nicer. Nope. Hello, strangers, a beautiful banshee calls. Do you need a turn on? I could sell you a heaven-sent mind booster. Are you interested in Apatar? This is the drug we were sent to work with. Uh, Grishna is conscientiously checking her equipment. I don't like the way that was phrased. Okay, we'll talk to Grishna. So what is your interest, honest adventurers? Grishna answers smiley. Apatar. Okay, one ration Apatar for my friend right away. This is 1,000 pieces of gold. Will you accept? I don't think we even have that. We haven't got enough money to do so. Uh, who are you? I really don't know anything of that interest about that. Bye. Hmm. So there's a drug pusher on the walk of the... Oh, Skid Row. This is where the drug pushers are, of course. Uh, hmm. But I can't... I do like a good text parser, so we don't just have a set thing of things to ask, because that uh, gives us more agency, but it also makes the game more complex. Suckers, an unshaved man snarls. This is the wrong place for you, fellas, he laughs mockingly, playing with a gleaming dagger, looking round to his fellows. A pack of filthy, mean men. Okay, so I went to look at the manual, and it seems that I was just... I, I, I had to double-click on it. That was it. That was all that I needed to do. Okay, so I have my inventory. I don't know necessarily... Uh, there we go. Iron shield instead of chain mail. Okay. Now... Food rations, gold... I think the queen should have comped us some... some money at the start of this, you know? I mean, just to pay for the drugs to find the drug dealers. And magic skills, runes, spells, tongues. Oh, I like that you have uh, different languages that you can know. Uh, we'll go back. So he's using a dagger. How do I use this map? A map can't be equipped at all. Okay, well, that makes sense. I click here, then... Oh, there we go. I can trade it like that. Okay. Let's see what my Valkyrie has. Broadsword, leather... Oh, no, 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 wait, wait. I haven't grown... Oh, okay. He wants me to... I haven't grown enough hands yet. Okay, um... Yeah, take the wooden shield. Sucks that he only has a dagger for now, though. Okay, broadsword, wooden shield, leather, food ration. So we do have to keep track of how much uh, we are eating. I'm going to give her a body potion. So maybe the goddess a body potion. Maybe a samurai is more of a... I mean, he looks like a warrior, but maybe he's more of a caster, like the samurais in uh, Wizardry. Give these mind potions, I guess they're mana potions, to some other people. 
don't know how to use the map yet, though, which is unfortunate. Maybe I just, there's like a map button I can click on to do that. Okay. Whether she only has a dagger, which is not so good. Oh, darn it. Okay, there you go. Athena. Dagger. There we go. Priest does not seem to have any armor at all. Just uh, the dagger. Dagger. For the fairy. And dagger. Now what's I mean, you have to have spells, right? Like one more. There we go. No spells. Runes. Hmm. Magic skills. Do I have to equip these? Yes. Hmm. Booster. Yeah, not sure what I do with these runes. Oh no, I can trade the runes between people. That's weird. Um, healer. But wait, what rune did she have? Uh oh, I don't remember what rune she had. I think it was this one. Hmm. Okay. Not sure what Booster does or Trapper does. Okay, hopefully we won't die immediately after I did all of this um, stuff. Hmm. How do I exit this screen? There we go. Okay, so it looks like we are back. Dragon's Lair. Um, I don't know if I like the sound of that. I guess it's just the name. It's not. It's not actually a dragon here, right? Maybe. Yeah, I don't think so. So we do need money, and I guess we have to buy drugs from that lady. And then she'll give us, we'll learn more about um, where the drugs are coming from, possibly. Mithril Street. Uh, not fond of the name of that street. Ordain Boulevard. Here's the Holy Park. Main Street. There we go. This is the, um, maybe we can only save here. Okay. The forum. You suddenly, you find yourself threatened by six gnomes and two dwarves. Okay, we just saved, so. Set options? Choose fight options for Corvus. Okay, body fight, body fight, mind fight, um, dwarves. He can't do anything. Mind fight. Yes, these options are okay. Fina's mind scans the mind of a dwarf but can't get hold of it. Throws a knife. Corvus hits a gnome, causing seven points of damage. Good. Deflects the blow. Oh, this feels sort of like a Bard's Tale type uh, combat. I wonder if there's a way to speed that up, though. That seems like it's going to get annoying after a while. Fires a bolt. Oh my goodness. They have crossbows, too. Where do these gnomes get crossbows? Look at this horrible thing. Okay, we'll fight again. Um... Body fight, body fight, body fight. He does not have an offensive spell, it seems. And I guess the only thing he was doing was reading their minds. 
Yeah, I guess I'll just do that. So I did enjoy the combat for um, the um, in the Bard's Tale and Wasteland series. Um, in fact, it, I kind of enjoy it better. This is going to sound strange to a lot of people than the isometric overhead view kind of combat in um, Baldur's Gate and uh, that type of game. Is Divinity an, an isometric game? Okay. We're not doing so great against these guys. Um, so we can change the options each time. I mean, we are hitting some of the gnomes, but we haven't killed any yet. We don't seem to be taking a tremendous amount of damage, for the most part. And we seem to be, like, our fighters seem to be doing pretty good against them. I'm, I'm, I'm more concerned now that I'm thinking about it. That Athena there, the goddess, maybe the goddess is more of a caster. And maybe I should have her in the back. I mean, these gnomes don't really seem very good. We did kill one gnome. That's good. Uh, we will fight, use the options. Because I don't know how the spells work. I don't know what to do. Killed another gnome, that's good. I'm also unclear. I assumed that the red was our health, but maybe the yellow was our health. That's not good. Fight, set options, body fight, body fight, body fight. I can't use heal wounds here. Maybe that's only out of combat. Hmm. Yeah, try mind fighting again. Okay. Uh, Corvus slashes at a gnome and it deflects it. Oh, Pyro's Mind shatters the mind of a gnome, causing 31 points of damage. That's good. It actually has a chance of hurting someone. That's interesting. Okay, gnome smashes. Armor, armor's too strong. So yeah, Corvus has chain mail. Um, throws a knife, but he deflects. That's pretty good. So, like, the Pyro just smashed the... He, like, uh, did a... Uh, what was that? Uh, an, an Aragorn type thing and knocked the knife out of the air. That's pretty neat. And yeah, we'll use the, the same options. Slashes that a gnome but misses. I wish there was an easy way to find... Uh, ooh, Shatters the Mind. 35 points of damage. Nice. I don't know if he's using his MP, though. Which bar is which? Because if it's... I'll use the the same options. I wonder if they'll automatically go to the dwarves after they kill the gnomes, or whether they'll just lose their turn and have to, we have to start again. Hits a gnome, 10 points of damage. These guys are pretty These guys are pretty easy. I think this is supposed to be like the starter fight. But I don't know how... Um, ooh. Uh, I don't know how she's doing, though. I guess we'll continue to fight... My, ooh, shatters the mind of a dwarf. 29 points of damage. Nice. Athena slashes. Dwarf splatters Corvus, causing one point of damage. Yeah, I think two of our characters... I think the yellow bar is the health. So that's not good. Athena hits a dwarf. Five points of damage. I like these dwarves. It's a cool animation there. Splatters Val, causing six points of damage. I like that the uh, that Pyra has mind powers. That's that's always my favorite. The the kind of uh, psionic abilities. Dwarf throws a knife at Volan but misses. Slashes at a dwarf but misses. This guy, this guy, this dwarf is bobbing and weaving. He deflects it. All right, shatters the mind. Yeah, you can't you can't dodge that, Mister Dwarf. Wait, what was that treasure? How do I how, what? How me get treasure? How do I cast a spell? Hmm. There was treasure there, right? Me, me want treasure. I looked up a little bit more about what's going on. And, uh, yeah, I, I still am kind of struggling with this, but that's, you know, that's to be expected. Snare Road. Sunset, ooh, Sunset Boulevard. That's lovely. I must have had a fun time coming up with the names of all this stuff here. 
The magic system seems to be very complicated and involved, which in general I do enjoy. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's going to take a little while to get used to. Hmm. Apparently it's, it's influenced in a way, probably, I guess, by the Ultima series involving these runes and going to special temples and arranging the runes in certain ways to learn a spell then we have to name the spell that we learn and uh, apparently the psi attack that i was doing before with one of these characters had something to do with the mental prowess trying to overwhelm the character that i was attacking hmm yeah mind 49 out of 52 Let's check their health. Okay, her health isn't terrible, but what about her health? Yeah, her health is pretty bad. Still not 100% sure how to cast. Because doesn't he have... He has some kind of a spell here. But let me just um, go back to this screen. Cast a spell... Hmm. It doesn't have any spells memorized. So I think that the skills are giving a passive effect over time, not necessarily something that we use like a spell, which is wonderful. And it is now, I'm noticing, getting dark. So I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Are we supposed to rest? Is there a place to rest? Forum. I'm trying to save the world, you dingus. You could let me rest here. Oh, I don't even... I have no idea where an inn could be. I mean, we do have some money. We could rest there, but... For some reason, a lot of the commands evolve holding the control key and then pressing a letter, which is very peculiar because the letters don't seem to do anything on their own. Why not just press the letter? Why do you have to hold the control key and then press the letter. It seems to make zero sense. But uh, it would be very nice if we can, I don't, you know, learn some kind of magic snare road. I think we can only actually leave uh, this city once we complete this quest and get some sort of ability to get out. Uh, let's see here. What is your skill, sir? Turbo. Skills apparently are based on some sort of odd magical dust that's spread across the land and uh, has infused pretty much everyone on the planet with this power. With this, um, let's see, 16 and 32. Uh, do I want to waste that? I don't know if I want to use the body potion or not. And I don't know what sizzling does. I'm sure there's somebody watching this who's like an expert in this game and just cringing at every wrong thing that I do here. But, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm recently watching a playthrough of uh, a really fun uh, YouTuber called God Game, Game God Fluent, and he's going through Wizardry 8 for the first time, a game that I'm kind of... Uh, I have a certain expertise with. Oh, and I really like seeing a, a new person go through it for the first time. Okay, Snare Road. Apparently I can't go out here. Do you really want to leave Moon City? No. I don't think I do. But I don't know where to go to rest. Would they let me rest in the temple? Or, or can you? Maybe you can't even rest in the game. We haven't eaten any of our food rations yet, I notice. I don't know if you automatically eat them, or maybe you eat them in um, the, uh, let's see, the forum. I wish the buildings were distinct enough for me to notice, like, okay, that's obviously a uh, an inn or a tavern. If I get really close to them, like I did here, I can see something different. But I guess we only get one save game. But look at this. It just looks like a normal house here. I have to get that close to it to notice it. It's if I have it to look any different at all. 
and I have no way of knowing if I uh, have been to an area or not. It's very confusing. Ordain Boulevard. Hmm. No houses here. You should be barging into people's houses. I really wish I there was a store somewhere. Road to Madness. Well, wandering around this town. Ooh, wait, hideaway. That could be interesting. There is apparently a uh, directional spell or skill that you can get. I don't. I don't remember which. Which seems a little cruel. That should just be, you know, your your ability to tell the direction should just be an automatic part of the game. That that's something I do enjoy about modern game design. Nope, there's nothing down here. Maybe I just have to explore Skid Row some more and see what's down there. With the recent Steam sale, I'm thinking of getting Drakensang 2. The, uh, what is it, the River of Time or something like that? It looks pretty interesting, and it's, it's only like three, four bucks, so I'm thinking of trying that out. But I also wanted to play a little bit more of the Sch Schwarze Auge. Ooh, Tarot Road. Maybe there's someone here. Maybe I should have paid that woman the money to tell me what to do. And then reloaded. <laughs> to try to cheat it. Uh, no. No idea. I mean, everything is just identical looking. I have no idea. Okay, from working hours 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Searching takes 10 minutes, but but we did search, right? Hmm. I think the sky got a little lighter when I searched, or maybe I'm just seeing things. Okay, I checked the manual again, and it basically just said, do it yourself, loser. It said to, to read the manual thoroughly and draw maps to find where you need to go. Some people enjoy the map drawing, and they, they, they think it's good. That's one thing I'm not as thrilled about myself with these games. It also said to, in the manual to make sure to find a certain castle in Lamarge where you have to, um, where you do training and then gain uh, and use your experience points. So finding that sounds very, very important. The Queen's Park. I get disoriented every time I'm facing this way when I enter, but you're obviously facing the other way when you go out. Hmm. Not really found any stores yet, which is not great. And I don't know how to use that map, because my this character has, see, map of Telusia, but I don't know how to use it and I can't equip it. Nope. Hitting the num keys just switches between the characters. Okay. Let's just finish that here. TriStar, we're back into Columbia TriStar Avenue. This is even, whoa. Suddenly you find yourself threatened by a witch. Yeah, we'll fight that, sure. Uh, set options, body fight, body fight, body fight, parry, parry, mind fight. Don't know why only my magician can mind fight. Maybe that's a just a spell they can use. This is a cool portion of a witch here. Okay, we do hit the witch once. Okay, the magic spell fizzled. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. where's the treasure? Treasure. Search. Huh. Did we... I don't remember how much gold we had. Maybe it was just gold and we automatically pick up the treasure? That was... Hmm. Okay, that's, that's fine. My shirtless 80s warrior man. 
Samurai. I'm not really getting a good Samurai vibe from that picture, by the way, of this guy, Corvus. Um, oddly, the book said that the Samurai was very Catholic, and I don't quite know what that means. Maybe a German would be able to explain that to me, why they've... I, I genuinely have no idea why that's in there. Okay, more about TriStar Avenue. The healer has his day off today. The door is well locked. And there's no response to our knocking. Okay, but how do I remember that the healer is here? Because that is very important and very confusing. Hmm. It seems like you would have to actually have a map out at all times. And I think I'm going to have to try to find someone that's already made a map of the game and just do that. Ooh, this house is on its own, I think. Or... Is it? No, I guess not. Havoc Avenue. Okay. <clears throat> not going to buy anything. I'm just barging in in the middle of the night, too. But if these guys aren't going to help me, I don't care about their their peaceful sleep. Okay, the east side. Is the east side the, the bad part of town? Uh, epitaph. Hmm. This is really giving me Bard's Tale vibes. Wanderer. Uh-oh. Okay, gnomes and goblins. And yes, we will fight. And we'll use our standard abilities. Okay. I hit the uh, the period button, and I found out that speeds up the uh, the dialogue on here, at the very least. And we're going to fight. It seems like in the standard style, the back three characters cannot engage in melee. Uh, I am worried about Athena, though, because she is she does not have great uh, hit points right now. Uh, set options. Okay. Body... Okay, the samurai can mind fight, too. Hmm. Maybe Athena should mind fight. And, yeah, try to mind fight. Bolt. It's a gnome. Balk, it's a gnome. Okay. Yeah, use the, norm, the not options we gave. Oh, that's a cute little goblin there. Oh, crap. Someone's dead. Well... We're going to have to reload. Monsters don't let you run away. Yep. Yeah, I was worried about her. So I wonder how I reload. Hmm. I wonder how I quit. Okay, I will load game. Yes. There we go. Talk to... Should I talk to this woman again? I can't give you any new information, my dear friends. Could you at least tell me where the inn is? Is that a possibility? Could you tell me how to drink a potion? Possibly. That would be so awesome if I knew how to do that. Because it seems, for Athena here, I did give her a potion... And I can't equip it. So maybe if it's equipped now? I can use it or something? But maybe I can only use it in combat? Okay, well we have combat right here. We're going to find out. Alright, set options. Uh, body fight, body fight, use item. The potion. Okay, parry, parry, mind fight the bats. Yes. I don't know if Mind Fight, which is sort of like a psionic power, uses... Um, let's just try to speed this up a little bit. Faster, faster, faster. There we go. It shatters the mind. I'm not sure if the mind power and spell power, how that all works. Use the standard options. Okay, so she did use the potion and her health is back. Frustratingly, health is displayed as yellow. I'm guessing red? Is red magic? Because that really is counterintuitive to what's going on in, you know, the standardized focus that we have now with colors these days. But I guess there's not all that much to, 
to say there. It was, it's so old it hadn't been standardized yet. Okay, three more bats. Use options. Okay, we were damaged a little bit there, I think. Bat is biting. That's a cute little bat picture. Bats really aren't very scary. They're just little, you know, flat-winged mice. Okay, each member gains 21 experience points. The party found 30 pieces of gold. I think I must have just clicked through it too fast the last time or something. Uh, okay, I will save this game. Yes, there we go. Okay. Now, let's just check our gold, because we need 1,000 gold to buy drugs. And I think seven, yeah, 765, they don't each have their own separate amount of gold. They just have, um, that's the total gold that each of us has. Okay. So, there we go. If anyone is familiar with the Dark Eye, maybe somebody who is German, you can tell me a little bit more about it and whether I should try to uh, read any of the books, because I think maybe some of them are have been published in English somewhere, and I would really like to try out the the series, if possible. At least, you know, just get to familiarize myself with the lore a little bit. Main Street should have, you know, a tavern. It should have some shops that I can buy. Some semi-decent weapons, at least. Ordain Boulevard. This is Main Street. Uh-oh, woo. Um, you know what? I'll fight. 16 points of damage. Bad is dead. Armor, armor is too strong. I hope, I assume, you know, I'm guessing there must be poison in this game, but I just have to be very, very careful with that. Because I don't want to be poisoned and not notice it, and then go save, which would kind of suck. Use options. I mean, there's no, um, of course, actual display of combat. You know, again, like the Bard's Tale, which is, eh, it's annoying. But I like that there's a little bit of movement to the monsters, you know, they... They wiggle a little bit, the bat's legs moving right here. I don't know if there is even a bat that will attack a human. Like, unless it's mad with rabies or something. A, a normal bat would just probably flee if it saw a human being. My Valkyrie's getting pretty damaged, and she actually has uh, leather armor on, which is... Oh, my goddess is getting damaged, too. I don't know... I'm worried about saving after this battle because I don't know if I want to... Okay, zero pieces of gold. Wonderful. And we got experience points that we can't use. All right. Hmm. Oh, for heaven's sake. Marble Arch. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can leave. Can I leave? Oh, it seems I can. But I'm just going to go back, I guess. I, there's no really real... There's no reason for me to leave. I still have to find out the... I have to smash the medieval drug ring, apparently. Snare Road... Uh, please just give me give me some kind of mark or sign about where I need to go. Uh, whoa. Um, yes. Uh, body fight, body fight, body fight. Mind fight the witches. This seems like a death. This seems like a party's life. Okay, they fizzled their spell, which is nice. Magic Lord is dead. Uh, witch is dead. Good. Oh, they're fizzling. They are fizzling, at least. It's a witch. Witch is dead. 40 pieces of gold. That's nice. Um, but I don't know where to... Hmm. Snare Road. I mean, this would be good progress if I could just go to heal. 
Snare Road, the Forum. Whoa. Yeah, we'll fight. I mean, I'm probably going to have to reload this. Uh, because this is just... I'm going to probably die before I can find a place to rest. Which kind of sucks, but... I mean, what are you going to do? I like that the eyes are blinking and they're moving just a little bit. It always bugs me in the modern... The, the more recent wizardry games from Japan that a lot of them, the the, the enemy models are just static images. They don't go to this tiny little help. Okay, 150 pieces of gold. That's pretty good. Okay, where... Whoops. Do we have a thousand now? Nope, we're not quite there yet. And... Get out of here, yep. I don't talk to strangers. Can you tell me where the inn is? That's all I want to know. That's seriously it. Ah, there we go. The tavern is closed at that time, as usual. Okay, there is a tavern. There's a tavern, but no inn. You'd think if it was an inn, that it would be open 24-7. I'm not exactly even sure what time it is or how to check that. I don't know if there's a way to, like, just sit and wait. Searching takes 10 minutes. Uh, there's the Holy Park. Should I save? Hmm. Yeah, it looks like I only have one save. You know what? I'm going to do it. I may regret it, but it's right at the beginning of the game anyway. I can restart later. Main Street. Did I check every house here? This is even more confusing than Daggerfall. At least in Daggerfall, it was marked on the map where... Um... Okay, there's something. Closed due to change of landlord? What does that mean? Um, no. Leave me be. Get out of here. Not going to buy anything. Get the hell out of here. Guys, I'm just looking for... Ooh, look, it's daylight again. Maybe the tavern is open now. Hmm. Okay, that's where the cathedral is. No, that wasn't it. Where was that? I thought it was over here. There it is. What do you mean closed at this time? Well, I guess it's early morning. I guess it would be closed, but still. Sunset Boulevard. Our food rations have gone down slightly, which means I guess we had something to eat automatically. I do like food rations being in a game, but I would prefer to know... Uh, yeah, we'll fight, I guess. It's just one of them. And he fizzled, thankfully. Here we go. No, no pieces of gold. Oh, and a sword. That's nice. Is it unidentified? Yeah, it just says sword. Hmm. Can I use it? I haven't grown enough hands yet. Okay, take the dagger off. Use sword. Okay. Hopefully that was not a mistake to so give him that, but... We'll, we'll see. And save, why not? Always be saving. ABS. Main Street again. I 
I'm only going to go into one that has that looks di like it's different enough to be something unique. And maybe I just have to systematically explore every single street. That looked a little bit different, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay, TriStar. That looks slightly different, but no. Queen's Park. Epitaph. It changes it when I go to the cross streets, but can I run? Nope, the monsters don't let you run away. Okay. Oop, we got a death. Okay, we're going to have to reload there. Taking a ton of damage. Can I quit on this screen? Yes, I can. Alrighty. And I guess I'm going to have him equip Valkyrie. Yeah. Oh, because they have a shield, they can't equip the potion. That kind of sucks. All right, ah, uh, good lord. Whoa, can we run? Nope, we cannot run. Okay, let's see what these gnomes do. These gnomes are pretty small. Uh, it seems I have to redo the fast uh, pace of the things every time you reload the game. That sucks. There we go. But that's nice to get through trash fights to just to be able to sort to race through everything. Gnome is dead. I don't know how how much health potions cost, so maybe it's not a good idea to uh, waste them that quickly. But I really don't know what to do without. I mean, I'll just die instantly. My three frontline fighter characters are all almost dead at this point. Okay, a little bit of gold. Ordain Boulevard. <laughs> hmm. I think our almost looked like our health went up a little bit there. Gallows Bird Road. Can we run? Yes, we can. It's much easier to run away in the uh, the Bard's Tale games, I noticed, than it is in this. We've Road to Madness. No, that's nothing. Road to Madness. Leave me be. Maybe we can find Norma Desmond and she can help us out on Sunset, uh, Sunset Road. Or Sunset Boulevard. I want to point out that this guy is eating dinner shirtless, which is a little bit rude. But if I had pecs like that guy, I would probably be shirtless a lot myself. Uh, a circle. <laughs> Main Street again. Hyde Park Corner. Nope. I do like the, uh, ooh, this, uh, oh, come on. I mean, what time even is it? I don't even know what time it is. I need Flava Flav in this game to tell me. Hmm. Not fond of the name of this street, I can tell you that. Uh, run away. Monsters don't let you run away. I always think of the movie uh, Gremlins and all the little movies like Critters and all the little rip-off games like that when we're fighting uh, gnomes. And we got a death. Perfect.
Okay, so I went online and found some maps that were hand drawn. These were not these were not made like an ASCII or anything. Somebody actually drew them out with pen and pencil and graph paper. And um Yeah, so I I made a little copy of the map here to try to figure out which way to go. And I'm trying to I hope this is Mithril. Nope, that's sunset. I went the wrong way. Okay, we have to fight. Perfect. Well, maybe I sh we should run. Monsters don't let us run away. Okay, well, we'll fight this one. We might die in this, but whatever. Let's speed this up a little bit. Shattering the mind of a gnome. I, I love it. I want more uh, gnome mind shattering. I will mention that uh, Drakensang did not have any mind shattering that I was aware of, although maybe I was playing an odd class or something. I went as some sort of dwarven uh, something or other. I, I forget what it was, but it seemed pretty neat. A dwarven like engineer thing. He started out with an apron. It, it was pretty neat and uh, didn't quite pan out to be as interesting as I thought, but whatever. Can we run away finally? Nope. I'm just going to re-wait. Hold on. I, I remember I can do this. Um, there. Uh, load game. There we go. Okay. Exit Monastery. There we go. Um, I think it was this way. Oh, for God's sakes. Ah, monsters. Jeez, I'm just trying to find some place to go. Deflex, deflex. I mean, I can't even find a place to rest, much less resurrect someone. I, I did find someone, I think, that said, and of course, dead, dead, dead. Okay, so I found something here, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. I know it's a store of some kind, but do they not even tell you what time of day it is? I know technically in a realistic sense, a medieval person would not necessarily know what the time of day is exactly, like the precise moment, but if the shopkeepers know that it's 8 a.m., why can't I? Ugh. Usually I don't mind this kind of thing, like in an Elder Scrolls game, you know, like in Daggerfall, they're only open from point A to point B in time. But I don't know what time it is. It could be any moment of the day. It, I mean, is it truly like before 8 a.m. in the morning? It doesn't look like it exactly. Maybe I can just search here for... Because it says it takes... Okay, so an hour has maybe passed. I'm not going to buy anything the door slammed shut. What? What do you mean? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's see if I can go back to the forum. Okay. Where is this stupid tavern? There we go. The tavern is closed at that time, as usual. Uh. Okay, it's open now, somehow. Hello, strangers, the barkeeper says as we enter. Order a drink, start small talk, leave tavern. I will have... An ale. Twelve pieces of gold. Cheers, he says in a low voice. Start small talk. So what is your interest, honest adventurers? Drugs. I think that's not of interest. Tavern. Healing. Help. Okay, well, I don't know what to say. I don't know if there's a way to rest in here. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can find some kind of a healer somewhere.
Okay, let's see if I can go... No, not that way. Oh god. Back to the Holy Park. Back down Mithril Street to the end. Not gonna buy anything. Okay, here's something. A shop. It doesn't look like it should be anything, but okay. Um, I can offer you the following. Um, leather, gloves, gauntlet, boots. Congratulations. Um, boots. Yeah, I'll leave the shop. Let's see here. Can you wear? Yes, you can. So he has chainmail, sword, gauntlet, boots, iron shield, and we can sell that dagger. And for my Valkyrie, she can probably use some boots, gauntlets as well. I mean, my for my Amazon, not a Valkyrie. Sell goods, dagger. You actually sold a dagger? What is, what an odd way to say that. Okay, buy goods, uh, gauntlets, and boots. Does it only go to the first person or is it auto distributed like that? Okay, gauntlet, let's see, what about Athena? Can you use gauntlets? I don't know what, uh, items each class can use as a goddess cannot equip a gauntlet. You know, I think these goddesses are mages and I should not have her in the front line. So yeah. Takes this. So what priests can use. Cannot equip that. Okay. Gonna put him in the front line anyway, just because uh, body potion. He's uh, has more health than my uh, than Athena does. Boots. Let's see if you can equip boots. Nope. Cannot equip boots. Seems a little odd. Seems like everyone can wear boots, even in the real world. Okay, Boots. The name is Bootsy, baby. All right, um... Switch these guys for now, because you're so much lower in health. Hmm. So this is some very, very meager progress. Uh, ring mail, soft leather. I wonder if they can wear soft leather. I'll try it. I do like that you don't have to pool the gold to one character, but it's still irritating that it automatically seems to go towards the first character there, like they're the one that enters the store. Maybe we can do something about that and put her in the first row if we want her to get it. Oh, she can wear soft leather, though. Okay. I wonder if she can wear... I assume that uh, my priest can also wear soft leather. It's annoying. I, I have to actually click that button to leave. I can't um, hit uh, the escape button. A little bit. It's old counterintuitive game design nonsense, but what are you going to do? Okay, priest, take this soft leather. See what you can do with it here. Good. I wonder if he can wear a shield, if that's possible. I don't want to buy it all at once, because if I can't um, use it, then I'll, I'll be wasting my money. Let's see, Athena. There we go. Can't equip a shield. Okay. That's not good. Oh, she already has a shield. Yeah, she already has a shield. 
I'm guessing he isn't going to be able to use it either, is he? It's kind of weird that the list on the right here of the names changes when you click on it. It seems like they should all be there permanently. And it just feels a little weird. Oh, he can use a wooden shield, though. I guess as a, um, a priest, he can. But the serious thing is, is it even possible to get back to the save point? And, um record this without getting into an encounter and it seems like the answer is yes thank goodness we can get a little bit of a save here it seems like their health may have gone back up a little bit like a teeny bit but okay so i went to get in make another character i've replaced athena with this uh, warrior conan type character i think it's a pretty cool barbaric footage there that's pretty awesome because i think i want to have three warrior characters in the front and three mage in the back i had more or less four mages and two frontline people so yeah i think this is going to work out a little bit better so let's go over here that's mithril straight Ooh. Screamer Slice. There we go. Uh, buy goods, Mind Shield, Mystic Cape, Body Potion. All oh, these are potions are really expensive. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, we can't really do anything right now. No need to identify anything. Okay. Get the hell out of here, a man says forcefully. Okay, maybe I want to go here. Yeah, there we go. Utter something that sounds like, what do you want? As he mops his brow. So what is your interest, honest adventurers? What was the name of that drug again? I kind of forget. Um, leave Tavern. Yeah, I really wanted to, like, have a chat with you, though. Oh, it sucks that you have to move forward like that every time you want to check something. Bend. Okay. Apatar, that's her name. This is the, the same lady as before. I have, to, I have to write that down, don't I? Apatar. Apatar. Apatar, my friends. Righto, here we go. Thousand pieces of gold. Will you accept? No. Maybe I just need to grind until I get the money. Hmm. If ever there was a game begging for an overworld map. Oh, wow. Nurgliser. The mystic... I think we met him before. Suddenly the seer appears in front of us, seemingly out of the blue. Seeing the future isn't cheap. No. No, thank you, no. Okay, we will, I guess, fight. I forgot I didn't set how to fight for Conan. What is he going to do? Fires a bolt. Corpse's armor is too strong. Gnome is dead. She deflects. I guess continue to fight. Maybe Kony maybe didn't do anything. That round. Yeah, maybe he didn't. Fight. Set options. Fight, body fight, body fight. Parry, parry. Mind fight. Yes. Odd that you can't click Y there. You have to actually click the thing that says yes. Dead. And I think because I, I clicked too fast, the treasure went away really fast, which is very annoying. I don't know how you could ever possibly play this without a pre-built map, or, or I guess, well, yeah, I guess making your own map. But that is a very big and frustrating process. Okay, back to the Holy Park. I might as well save. Because I think I, okay, I can only save here at one of these places. But I don't know if we're out in a dungeon. Does that mean we just can't save until we get back? That would be brutal. Let's try going all the way down Main Street. 
Then down over here. Okay, goblins. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try to take them on. Dead. 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 Okay. Twelve pieces of gold. It's going to take a while to grind that out, I think. Okay. Uh... Is this what I was thinking? Leave me be. Oh, welcome, honest adventurers. How are things going? The he healer. He's a healer. Oh, please heal. Okay. Um. Resurrect. Cure body. Do I want body healing or cure body? Maybe cure body is for... Poison? Choose a member to be healed from your party. 21 pieces of gold. That's reasonable. He's healed! Oh, thank God, we finally found it. Okay, uh, yes, I will accept that. So this is serious progress. So what is your honest, what are your interest adventurers? Drugs. Bye. Um... Don't know how much it costs to resurrect, so I'm still going to have to reload for that. But I think what I'm going to have to do now is just grind out a hundred... A hundred dollars. Not a hundred, what did I say? A thousand gold. I think I only have like... What is that? Six hundred left? Yeah, almost six hundred left. Which is not great. Is he not wearing his chainmail? That's odd. It's almost like he took it off. Maybe I took it off by accident. That's not good. So I'm, I'm going to have to grind that out over time, but I'm also going to have to spend money to get armor for my starting guys, which kind of sucks. I mean, she does have stiff leather. Maybe that's okay enough for now. <laughs> okay, this is a... All right, we'll try this out. And slashes... It's a skull. Uh, okay. Armor too strong. Nice. Armor too strong. Critically hit. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll fight the goblins. I like these little goblin guys. They're kind of cute. Ba -ba -ba. Deflects. Can't grab a hold of his mind. How, how, how dumb do you have to be if a, if a goblin's mind is too much to enrapture around? Or a ensnare, or whatever it is he's doing with his mind assault. There we go. Pyro mind assault. Good job. Whoa. Uh, he's in bad shape. No, can't run away. Critically hits goblin. Conan looks like he's about to die, and we have to start. We have to reload, but... Yeah, use options. Goblin is dead, thank god. And 56 pieces of gold. But we're going to have to spend all that to heal Conan. So, that's not such a huge... Where was it again? No, not there. Nope. I've forgotten where it is already. Nether Way. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, body healing for Conan. Yes, we will accept. Body is now healed. Nice. Now let's see if, by some miracle, we can find our way back to... Um... Main Street. Oh, God. Ugh. Okay. Okay, body fight, body fight, body fight, parry, mind fight the magic lord. Yes. Splatters Valk, but she deflects it heavily, heavy bard's, bard's tale vibes all around this. It's almost a knockoff in a way. I shouldn't say that exactly, but... Oh no. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, those are owls. Those are owies. I guess fight. Ouch. 
Well, I'm going to go see how much it costs to resurrect someone. Well, we were close. Okay, so it has been a little while, and okay, I have been grinding out some levels and just spending some time figuring out how to get gold and wandering about. I did buy some drugs from that uh, lady who was uh, pushing drugs, but I don't know what to do after that. I may have wasted a thousand gold on buying the drugs. I thought that was going to lead to something else, but I don't know. So I've just been hanging around the uh, healer for most of the time and attacking any random enemy that I come across to try to get some XP and some gold. I found out that the dwarves drop tons of gold, which is great, because that's how you make money. And I had about 1800 at one point, but I've spent it a, a, a quite a bit of it on getting more weapons and armor, and I bought some bows and arrows from my guys in the back line, and I, uh, I've completely replaced one of my characters with Conan, one of the fighters here, so... You know, that, that got me almost no gold, and it costs a fair amount of money to go to the healer. It's especially irritating that the healer will, um, for some reason or another, he just will not heal you at night for the same amount. Thankfully, he will still heal, uh, heal you, but he will um, charge you extra. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm trying to go to the store here, but I think uh, the only way I know to pass time is to search. So I would just search six times and wait for an hour to pass. I don't think, as far as I can tell, there are any inns to rest at. You basically just have to, um... You just have to wait. Okay, so this is a, 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 a weapon smith here. And I'm going to buy some arrows for my guys here. I wonder if I can resell the drugs. Hmm. Let me check here. Sell goods. More. Oh, I can sell it, but only for 500, half of what I paid. Okay, so, you know, that's fine. That's not that big a deal. I mean, maybe there was no reason to actually buy the drugs. You know, it was, um... Who knows? This is part of the adventure. This is my adventure, figuring this out. Uh, let's go to... Her. Pyra does not need uh, arrows, really, because he, um, I was originally going to make it female, but I didn't know that classes were locked to male or female, but whatever. But he is, because uh, he can mind attack with enemies, and that means they lock their thoughts and have like a psionic assault on them, which is, I think, where that mind magic here comes in, which I think is the yellow... And um, I'm not exactly sure how often it goes down, because it doesn't seem to go down exactly like spell points. Like, it seems that only if it's a successful mind attack, it uses mind points. So if he fails to actually invade their mind or whatever it is, it is it's just not going to do anything. So... Uh, but I really like that because I love psionic powers. Anyone who's seen my Dark Sun video knows that psionics are one of my favorite things uh, in, in role-playing games. I love just the powers of the mind. I have been watching a German YouTuber go through this and um, try, to, try to glean some things from his playthrough. And so I'm going to go to the healer and I'm going to talk to him and say, aha, the combination of the S, Delta, turn to its side, uh, I, don't, I don't know what the name of these runes are, but S kind of looks like a D, then X, generates a spell which will heal one's body if Tip laughs. But I don't know if I have those runes exactly, or how to go about them. Let me check what runes I have. Uh, more. 
No. Nope. Does not have any runes. X. He does have one of the X runes. See, I don't know if I have the requisite runes to even cast the magic. Hmm. So, and I, I really just found out that I, I don't know if there is any other way to keep uh, aware of where of, of the of the level, except to just sort of orient yourself by playing it over and over again. It's irritating that it has to be done that way, but um, it just kind of is. You just have to figure it out over time. I think this guy sells rations. He does. I will buy a hundred rations. And uh, can I sell stuff? I can. I still can't believe it says you actually sold a dagger. Like he's surprised that I sold it. Like he's just shocked. Okay, so I'm going to go back. Maybe there's a faster... Oh, okay. Uh, these spiders are tricky because they can poison you. Armor is too strong. I also heard that maybe the spiders can't be mind attacked, which is not great. Air on the skull center, but is avoided. Uh, bites, but too hard. I also enjoy, I'm sorry if you can hear any noise outside. There's actually uh, fireworks going on. I hope you can't hear that, but whatever. I'll try to edit it out if I can. Um, I, I do like that a lot of the, um, the portraits in the game are just photographs that they scanned in and drew over. Like, take take a look at, at this one. That's Ramirez. That's Sean Connery from Highlander. <laughs> and and they actually have a bunch of other... They must have just taken some nature photographs of spiders or something and then drawn over them. That's, that's adorable to me. And that's something that I'm always going to be thrilled at more so than any, any kind of fancy 3D graphics. This just tickles me to see this. I also like that his name is Yaka Deep Shaved. Like, he's, he's not just regular shaved. He went all Brazilian, this guy. Uh, I can ask him about the drugs, but he doesn't like that. He just says, don't give me that again. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the drugs. There's supposedly a place on the map that I've threatened by a gnome. Okay. I wonder if, if one of these things actually was from one of those critters or gremlins type movies from the 80s that they just scanned over. Okay, uh, no, that is not where I wanted to go. There we go. Let's see if I can save this. Yes. Okay, exit monastery. All right, now. Please let me run. Don't let me run away. Perfect. Maybe I should go to the healer anyway before I try this. I'm going to try, if I can, to leave the town and find the upgrade place. We're so coddled nowadays as RPG gamers that we just assume, almost as if we're paying strictly for the... Cons we're consumers of these games more than players who have to have to work hard in order to get what they need, um, that we just expect levels automatically and a huge complicated skill tree and, you know, we want, we demand the power fantasy. But uh, actually, bizarrely enough, in this game, you will, um, you actually have to find the secret hidden location that is off outside of the starting town just to level up, which is absolutely bizarre. And I'm going to go attempt to find where this thing is, because there are multiple towns in the game. Hopefully I can find this one. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. Okay. I feel like I should try to learn more spells from him, but because I don't have necessarily have the requisite runes... And there's, there's the one I wanted to show you. This is another one that's clearly uh, Laurel from Laurel and Hardy. Or was it Hardy? No, Laurel was the fat one, right? Well, anyway. Ah, you again, adventurers. Are you no interested in my fascinating book? Uh, book. 
the Manas Hieroglyphica is cheap today. I'll make you a special offer. Let's say 500 gold pieces and the knowledge will be yours. Will you accept this offer? Hmm. I'm going to do this because I saved recently. The hooded figure hands me the book and then grabs the gold, letting it vanish in a hidden pouch's robe. Thank you. He says he immediately turns and walks away. Unfortunately, I haven't grown enough hands yet. That's weird. Uh, let me give it to my mage here. Do I have to unequip what I have or something? All right, let's take the bow off. So I can equip it like an item? That's weird. But what do I do with it? Can it, it I mean, it seems like he scammed me, but... What? No, that's not it. Hmm. Can I sell it? No. Where was the store again? Is this it? No, that was not it. I mean, I guess I can just try to use it in a, a battle. Here we go. Um, yeah, we'll fight. Set options. Body fight, body fight, body fight. My... Um, Amazon and my, my fighter can only do the body fight, but the samurai can do mind fight or body fight. Uh, body fight, body fight, use item. Use the Manus H. Okay. It uses, but you can't read anything in this book. What? What do you... Huh. Let's just ask the healer about this. He's the only one who knows or really gonna has given me anything useful. Nope. Tyro Hypica. Tyro Hypica. No. Nope. You know what? I'm going to um I think I'm going to reload. Because I think I got scammed. But I can't be absolutely certain I got scammed. Maybe that's something I absolutely need for a quest. I don't know. Well, I mean, we'll just see what happens, right? Okay, so let's try to leave the starting town. You only actually consume food when you were on the overhead map, not while you were in cities. And there are random encounters, so we have to be careful about Here we go. A teaserling. Uh, set options. Body fight, body fight, body fight. Body fight, the teaserling. Mind I don't know what that, maybe it's an upgraded type of gnome? Of course, because this is the Bard's Tale style, we only see the first character here. Okay, the teaserling's dead, so maybe it was just a, a fairly basic enemy. I have no way of knowing what's like brutally difficult and what's not. I think place I want to get to, the castle, where we can uh, upgrade, where we can get levels if anyone is able to be leveled up, is over that way. Okay, I've heard that the monsters, even if they're, they look the same, they're actually tougher on the outside, so you have to be very careful about that. But it's so odd that um, you have to leave the starting area just to get to a secret location to level up. Wait, what did that say? Mountain is too steep to climb. Okay. Uh-oh. Five goblins. All right. Critically hits a goblin. I think crit crit uh, crits are like uh, the critical hits in wizardry. They may instantly kill an enemy, I think. Or maybe not. I'm, I'm not sure. But I like this little image of this cute little goblin guy. Maybe this wasn't traced over something. Maybe this was an actual image they drew of it. Something I found out while looking into this game is that one of the designers of this game and of the company that made it and the Realms of Arcania games 
was one of the German designers of uh, Planescape Torment, the game that I consider to have the best story in any role-playing game ever. And the fact that he's in this is amazing. I was I was shocked to find that there was this link uh, between this game I'd never heard of until very, very recently, and um, this... Uh... Ooh, got an encounter here. Ooh, bandits. Ugh. Yeah, we'll try. The bandits are probably pretty tough. Can't get a hold of the bat, arrow on a bat. Hits a bandit. We're doing half decent damage at least, but... I wonder if I have to click the search command in order to find something on this screen. Not not this screen, I mean the, not the battle screen, but the screen in the... Um, the overhead world map to like find a building. You'd think if you were walking around and there was literally a castle there, we would see it. It's not hidden or anything. Or, well, I guess they said in the book it might be hidden. But still, I feel like we should probably be able to see it. Shatters the mind of a bat. We're taking quite a bit of damage here. We may have to reload. Um, resurrection, I think, is very expensive, and we don't have the money for that right now. Steel's Mind Potion. Steel's Broadsword. Oh my god. I take it we don't get those back if we kill them. Dwarf throws a knife. 14 points. Steel's Iron Shield. If we win, we'll find out if we even get these items back. Which we may very well not. I do like the flashing light in, sort of in the darkness here. That's pretty cool. Uh, we're losing even more health. Everybody's... almost everyone's at half health. I mean, maybe we can just barely defeat the bandits, but uh, but that, oh, that flashing light is cool. You can see somebody's face in the right hand when the lightning strikes. That's pretty neat. Okay, the bandits are dead, but I assume they stole our stuff and we can't get it back? I guess that... that oh my god, that would be really awful. I mean, I don't think we definitely need that stuff. It was basically junk, probably. But, um, yeah. If we win this and we have no deaths and we could somehow miraculously make it back alive, then... Well, I don't, I don't think Claire is going to survive. She's almost dead. Our fairy is very nearly gone. Ooh, shatters the mind of a dwarf. Critically hits. Good, good. The reason I think critically hits is an instant death is because it doesn't list how much damage it does, so I'm assuming it's instant, but, I, I mean, I can't be certain. It's, it's impossible to know without trial and error what enemies are more susceptible to mind attacks versus physical attacks or magic attacks, so you, I guess you would just have to test it out. Ooh, a lot of gold. Arrow... Oh, we got all, we got all the stolen stuff back. Good. Oh god, immediate. Please run. Monsters don't let you run away. Okay, mind fight. Body fight, body fight. Well, we could have walked away with a thousand gold, but that didn't happen. Yep, instant death. Mm -hmm. And the spells are just going across the whole line of people and seeing who resists it or not. So, yeah, we're going to have to reload that. Okay, we are back outside. You can't search under any... You search under every stone, but can't find anything. Okay. You, suddenly you face death itself by four gnomes. I'm a gnome! And you've been gnomed! I'm a gnome! And you've been gnomed! Descendants. Finding that out. Like, Grandma, how, how did Grandpa die? He was killed by a gnome, sweetie. Now imagine that. One of these little things right here. One of these little puppet guys killing you. Okay. Uh, we took damage again. It's like, does the damage meter... Why did it go down? When I hit use turn, nobody's poisoned, I don't think. Huh. 
That's weird. So we can search on the overhead screen, so maybe that's going to do something, or maybe I wasn't exactly in the right part. Because, it's, again, it's hard to tell with some of these maps where to go precisely. And I may just need to figure it out. You know, I, I just have to... Okay, how about... Yes, there we go. I think we found it. I do want to enter location. Do you want to save and delete old game? Um, yeah. You are standing in the holy halls of the castle of Attic. What are your wishes? Gain new level. Granted eight body points, mind points. Nice. Strength goes up. Just learn the new talent, light. Gain new level. Ooh, 16 hit points? Yes. Slay queen. Nugget. Um, okay, 16 hit points. Yes. Nine body points, 11, 16. Ma you know, it's going to be great learning magic when I, you know, figure out how to use it. Oh, I didn't see what talent he got. Uh, I assume it's going to automatically increase you to your... Okay, 859 to gain more. 859, 967. That's the guy that I added sort of midway. Okay, leave the castle. Okay, now if we can make it back to the starter state. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, we'll fight, I guess. If we can make it back to the starting city alive, I think that will be a win. Because I don't, I, you know, I, as we saved here, and there's only one save, because these are back in the brutal days of savagery. You know, that could be the name of a, a, a new version of wizardry, if someone were to take the general concept, like Elman Age Gothic did, and just make a new modern wizardry, but base it off of 6 and 7 and call it savagery, and just sort of really play into the brutal angle of it, and sort of attract the Dark Souls crowd with that. Like, maybe it wouldn't work, and they wouldn't go for it, but you could at least try. I mean, you know, you might as well. Okay, uh, hits a bat, 20 points of damage, that's pretty good, but that bat is still alive. It took 20 points of damage. Some of my characters don't even have 20 hit points. How big is this bat? This is like the giant bat in Trenton in Wizardry 8. I do like this this sprite of these uh, these dwarves here. I think they look pretty cool. With the hammers and axes and everything. There are some new weapons I can see about buying at the store when I get back if I have you know if I if if I survive. Um, the reason I'm not ooh 300 gold pieces that's not terrible. Iron shield and sell that. There we go. Oh boy. Oh god. Okay. Just gnomes. It's just gnomes. I don't think this is going to be that bad. Uh, there was a Warhammer, I think, that was for sale, but I, because these games are just so frustrating, they didn't list the actual damage these things do. You know, now that's something that's good about modern games. You know, it has a number value how much damage it's going to do, which, you know, you have to have for basically any game. It has to exist. And you just look it up. You know, it does the same thing in Wizardry. It doesn't tell you the exact number damage it does unless you cast the Identify spell, which is absurd. You know, that should just be basic knowledge that this does 1d6, that does 1d8. And, you know, I need to make these calculations. This is important stuff. Okay, let us continue on. We're almost... Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, it's just gnomes. It's just gnomes again. I don't know. Maybe if one character died on the way, I would consider resurrection rather than just leaving, but I don't know. I don't know about that. So uh, we've definitely made progress, which is good. That progress involved... Ugh, Volan is almost dead. My priest is nearly dead. Um, we've made progress, but it's very tentative progress because it involved like a couple of hours of leveling, of memorizing the layout of this fictional town, 
which, uh, if any of you have seen a, a great, great, great YouTuber called Ragnar Rocks, uh, he's one of my favorite YouTubers and one of the premier video essayists about video games that I like to go to a lot. And I always respect his opinion on things, but he had an opinion a while back where he was talking about the new Bard's Tale release, and he mentioned that the new one, you cannot actually... Uh, I mean, wait, wait, no, wait a minute. You, the new one, you had an auto map, and he was considering making a video about the Bard's Tale. Oh, there's a death. That's not good. He was considering making a video about the Bard's Tale, but he was unsure about it. Because he, um, let's see here. Found a knife. Yes, it went to Moon City. Uh, he was unsure about making it because he felt that with, with the auto map, the game had lost some sort of essential mystique to it that it no longer possessed. And, you know, I, I thought that was interesting. I, that I'm always interested in those opinions, but I just, I can't agree with it, you know, on the the basic level. I I think that the game has improved with an auto map. I think that they, they, they require an auto map because he was saying that you needed to really sink in to the video game. It's sort of like wrap your mind completely inside of it and figure out where you are, get lost. And I'm a big proponent of getting lost in games to a degree, but, you know, that, that idea of being able to completely subsume your mind into the video game and just allow it to, to take over for a while, to allow yourself to be present almost in a meditative way, in a, like a therapeutic way, they say we want to be present in the moment. And I think that maybe that's better to do in a video game, in a way, than always keeping one one toe out of the water, so to speak, by not plunging completely in there and relying on the crutch of the auto map to figure out where you are. And I find that intriguing, and, you know, I've been batting it around in my mind for a while, but... Uh, you know, I haven't really gotten anywhere with it. I, I've always been kind of unsure about my own feelings, because in general I love the auto map. I want it there. But without it, does the game lose some sort of part of its essence that's this indefinable thing that makes it what it is to get lost in your in the clouds of the game and your thoughts to really plunge in and meditate into something? David Lynch has an idea of catching the big fish, where he says that ideas will come to you if you sort of sink back and meditate for a while. Okay, 200 pieces of gold to resurrect. I guess so. It says he is now alive, but did he change in some way? Uh, I don't know. Am I seeing things, or is he different? Hmm. Was his cloak always yellow? Because this is him over here. Was he... Mind healing... Magic healing... Hmm. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Maybe I need mind healing. Hmm. Does it say anything that's different? I should have taken a screenshot beforehand to check to see if there's anything different about him. Hmm. I don't really know. Oh, it says he's level one, which is not good. Experience 1191. I mean, didn't I level him up? Didn't I level all these guys up? Experience. Huh. That's weird. I swore I leveled, leveled everybody up. But it still says level one. And I think we have our increases and everything. Did I get level drained or something? That's weird. Yeah, 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 we know. We know you're 
charging us an arm and a leg for this crap. The combination of the lightning bolt, D, and X will generate a spell that heals one's body. And we can trade runes in between people. This is another uh, idea that I have going on in my mind a lot about video game magic systems and how the greater complexity that they have, the more magical they sort of appear. So without this complicated process of using runes, uh, you know, how will magic appear in, in a modern gaming sense where it's just this, like in a Diablo game, this sort of numbers, it, it's, it's just transformed into a numbers game, like the damage I was talking about on a weapon. Where you just, basically all that it does is just, um, I wonder if I can use those torches to light up the forest we were fighting in. Hmm. Well, anyway, um, I, I wonder if the less, the more mundane magic becomes if you take away that unusual element to it. That's sort of like you have to cast runes or an Arx Fatalis, you have to write the runes with it or this weird system, whatever it is, that I can't even figure out yet. Um, ooh, I was able to run away from those spiders, nice. If you become more, uh, how should I put it, jaded about magic, I was just watching a Tail Foundry, another YouTube channel video about why magic systems don't seem magical, and I was wondering if you could rekindle the idea of magic in a magic system, if you made it more complex, but that seems, an, that seems anathema, because the more complexity to it, the more it sounds like a science, and less like a magic, a magical experience that you are uh, going through. I just don't know. Is this what I was thinking of? Nope, that is not what I was thinking of. Okay, working hours. I'm just searching over and over again. It does Since this doesn't burn... Uh, Food, why not? And it, as far as I can tell, it doesn't seem to promote any attacks of opportunity against uh, by enemies. Let's just check this out a little bit. I've got a bunch of stuff I could sell. I think all of my melee guys have iron shields already. Yes. And I did learn that all of the, the items immediately go to sort of the leader character here, so, you know. Not much I can do about that. Uh, iron shield, knife, knife. Yeah, not much I can do there. I think everyone will buy everything, and I don't... Oh, come! Are you kidding me? It's closed on the weekends? Ah, Jesus. That seems a little bit extreme, game. To close the store on the weekends... I also noticed another thing. I was going into like a uh, a tavern to get a drink, and it said the taverns are closed on Wednesdays. And I'm like, really, really? Come on now. I mean, maybe it kind of makes sense because taverns are a little bit less important than um, than item shops. But I mean, geez, really? Closed on the weekends. Where is this item shop? The sh all the shops are closed on weekends. That's ridiculous. Uh, 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 okay. Welp. Tavern is closed at this time as usual. Let's see how much food I have. I still have a ton of rations, uh, so I think just going over regular land is not that bad, but if you go over um, supposedly desert, or I think swamp land, it costs a lot more. So 
So yeah, the fact that this game was uh, apparently has a connection to Guido Henkel, who was one of the producers on what you know one of the best narrative games ever made, that made me interested in this, and I was like, yeah, I'll, I definitely want to check this out. And uh, oh, death itself teaser. Those are teaserlings, apparently. So let's hit them. One thing that I'm actually willing to side with the older RPGs on is the uh, the saving only in one specific area. That's something I actually think is okay because it forces you to use everything in your arsenal and it changes every aspect of the game to, uh, to only save in one certain area or you'll be killed. I actually think that adds a lot. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Party has no ship to move across the ocean. Okay. Oh, and we're on an island, apparently. Teaserling. Okay, we'll fight him. And when I found out I was on an island, the first thing I thought of was uh, Gothic, another German RPG. It immediately made me... Reminded me of... Okay, ten goblins. That's a lot, but we'll, we'll try it. It's odd that we don't have the requisite uh, runes to cast the basic healing spell. Even when we find it out, we don't have the right runes. That seems so peculiar. Like, I think we're missing two out of the... Th uh, yeah, two out of the three we need. Because we need that one that's sort of like a, a D shape. And then we need the lightning bolt shaped one. And I'm just going to make it go a little bit faster here. I do like this little image, though, this little... The skeleton behind the goblin there. That looks cute. I don't think these goblins are going to have a lot of money, which is really the only reason I would want to fight them now. I wonder how much time passes while I'm outside. Does it pass like it does normally, like with minutes? Because that would be kind of weird. I assume it would be... It would pass... Do, do like days or weeks pass when you when you walk over something? I'm not sure what the, the scale of everything is. But I'm going to go back inside and check after this, unless I die and have to reload. Armor too strong. It did list, I think, how much XP we had in the screen, but the fact that it didn't list how much XP we need for the next level is very annoying. And when Wizardry 6 and 7 did that, I, I think 6 did, it told you how much XP you needed for the next level. So I don't know why this game wouldn't. That's that's just obnoxious. Uh, it doesn't have it. It's odd that Guido Henkel doesn't seem, according to his Wikipedia page at least, which, you know, who knows how, how useful that is, it doesn't seem he's involved in gaming anymore and hasn't been for about 20 years. He just made, you know, one of the best narrative design games ever in history and pieced, pieced out. Which, I mean, maybe that's the way to go, you know? There we go. Do we want to enter Moon City? Yes. It's kind of annoying that we enter through a different portal than we exited. Like, we didn't take the Snare Road exit. We took the main Ordain Road exit. That's another odd thing, that I've had to learn the names of these these streets, which I thought was immediately going to be, oh god, this is a hugely frustrating thing, that I'm going to have to do this. And it kind of is, but, you know, maybe I'm just being more present in the game itself. I mean, who knows? Uh, no, I don't want to go to the forum. I want to go to the healer. It's so bizarre that the healer is not clearly marked, because it's been a while since I've played the original Bard's Tale, but I'm pretty sure that the temple area was origin was clearly marked. You, know, you could notice that as a different... It's like a, that whole temple district. Okay, body... I still don't know why it says we, we're, we're at the same level. That's so peculiar. Okay. So let's go see what 
it's also very odd that there's you know at least in Daggerfall you had a uh, it explained like what the day of the week was what month it was you didn't need to worry about something like that okay we'll try to fight these witches I guess Jinxes Conan his armor is too strong okay okay so it's not the weekend anymore so some unidentifiable amount of time has passed okay I will sell that. I will sell a knife, even though it's only two. Uh, I'll sell some more first. Iron shield. Knife. Uh, Opator. I guess we'll hang on to that. Iron shield. And the knife. Okay, now, should I buy something? You know, I guess I'll try to buy a war mall. And we'll see. Okay, war I think I'll give this to Conan. That sounds like something Conan would like. Broadsword, war mall. And he can still use the iron shield with that. And I'm going to give the broadsword. I'm just operating under the vague assumption that the broadsword is better than the regular sword, even though it, it may very well not be. I, I have no idea. And she has a broadsword. Okay. Sword. I guess I'll just sell that. There's no real reason. I don't know if there's any um, extended reach weapons like spears or quarterstaff that the uh, backline people can use yet, so I'm just going to keep them with their bows. Okay, broadsword. And... Yeah, that broadsword was... Oh no, wait, no, I sold the broadsword and I didn't want to. Crap. Ah. Uh, Okay, well, maybe I should buy a Warhammer. Let's see if Samurais can use that. Can't equip a Warhammer. Perfect. That was a big issue. Uh, okay, she can use a Warhammer, though. Let's see if he can use a Broadsword. Yes, he can. Good. Almost made a big mistake there. Um, okay. Sword. Now sell the sword. Something that new games obviously have it much, much better is everything to do with UI and inventory management. Okay, sell the sword. Sell goods. Shield. Okay. Now, let's see if we can actually save our progress here. And yes, we can. Okay, so we're, uh, of course. Oh, we ran away. Good. Uh, oh, we got more of these spiders. Run. Okay, well, we'll fight. So we're badly injured after our sojourn to a nearby town of Tumalin. And I did come in here and just manage to save just barely. I don't think there was a place to save in Tumalin. So I know of only two places to save. The Level Up Castle and here in the main town. I, I don't know if there are other towns that we would get to go to, maybe bigger ones, but I'm not really sure. This this game is pretty darn difficult. So I'm going to try to make it down to the healer. I might have to reload. I did get as a reward for that mission, and I use the word mission very loosely because really, I mean, we just... They made it seem we were going to have to wander out into the wilderness and fight this evil guy, but honestly... It, we just ran over, and uh, he was in the town, in a, in one of the buildings in the town. Okay. 
And uh, you'd better not seek trouble at that time of day, the healer murmurs. Don't you need sleep as I do? Pa, heroes, idiots, that's what you are, he adds angrily. Yeah, he actually will charge double now because he's a jerk. But I really just want to get healed. I mean, I guess I... Well, I guess I could have saved or rested outside there. I don't know how often resting provokes an attack from enemies, though. It, it hasn't really resulted in an attack yet, I don't think. But whatever. Okay. So I am going to try to... Let's see how much food I have. 137 rations. It's difficult to know exactly how much is used. I, I assume it's mentioned in the manual somewhere how much you use each day. But uh, I have to wait. But it seems like a heck of a lot. And uh, going in the desert, which is nearby, that's going to take a huge amount of extra food. So let's buy goods, 100 rations. Okay, so that should, I hope, be enough for a trip. I don't know if I'm supposed to go across the desert right now, or... If I'm... How much money do I have left after that? Probably not a lot. 500 gold. Okay, that's not horrible. And I still have that Apatar, that drug that apparently I can sell for 500 for half of what I paid for it. So maybe it's not going to be a total waste. Okay. Um, she doesn't have anything else to say. Let's just go see if we can talk to Yaka Deep Shaved. Okay, cult. Rowena, as their head, does a good job on that, but she doesn't manage to figure out the identity of the cult's head, though. Rowena. In fact, she sort of worries me. Not that I don't like her, it's just something strange about her. It's said she roams the town at night, but I've never seen her. So what is this rumor about? No, um, Optitar. Hmm. What's her interest? Job? Quest? Name? Just going through the ultimate things here. Tumalin? Tano? Quest? Nope. Okay. I thought there might be some kind of uh, quest for him, from him, but maybe I just don't know the correct words for it. Okay, let's leave Moon City. And so there's the town of Tumalin, and you can just barely make out the upgrade castle right there. I don't know if I should go to the right or the left, because the right is almost all desert, and this little patch of brown is desert as well. So I'm thinking of maybe trying to get up here and the, the center left, if I can get there without dying horribly. Okay, these teaser lens aren't really much. They're just sort of basically like little gnomes. They're not very scary. But if we get caught by bandits and witches and all that, it's... And they gave us no gold. Perfect. Zero gold. Okay. Oops. Oh, God. Please run. Ugh. All right, fight, I guess. If they do one spell, though, I don't know. Steal stiff leather from Volan. I was wondering about this before. Can they steal equipped items? Like, it seems almost that they can... Like, I swear I didn't have extra stuff in there and they stole, like, they ripped it off of my body, like that special perk you can get in Fallout. But maybe I'm just imagining things. Maybe I just had some extra stuff in there. Okay. More bandits. Can't get a hold of it. Can't mind take these bandits. 
steals chainmail. I think he stole his we his armor. Like he has the opposite of the dawn dawn armor quick feet. He just he steals you can rip it off of your body faster than you can put it on. Slashes at bandit but misses. I wonder a lot about traveling with armor. Because I was watching the Fellowship of the Ring recently, and I noticed that I think Aragorn and Boromir were both... Ooh, 550 gold. That's nice. And we have our stolen stuff bound. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Do we have to re-equip it if it was stolen off of our body? Actually, I don't know how to get to our inventory screen on this thing here. That's weird. Dark elves. No, we're gonna run away from that. Okay. And I was wondering, could you really just walk, you know, hundreds and hundreds of miles wearing chainmail and carrying a shield? I remember supposedly, um, oh for goodness sake, leave me alone. I remember hearing in the decline and fall of the Roman Empire that um, supposedly there was a lot of complaints in the later days of the Empire that soldiers were no longer accustomed to wearing their armor. And um, that was a big cause of the sort of the supposed degeneracy of the hill, hill dragon? Where did that come from? Um, run? Nope. Jeez, a hill dragon? Cast a spell and so oh, he's summoning things. These dark elves are summoners. Good lord. Ugh. We need to run away. Please run. Thank god. It's really finicky trying to get into the upgrade castle. I, I moved onto it, but the, you have to be very precisely at this exact place, or else it doesn't allow you to do it. Uh, but anyway, I keep getting distracted here. Um, I, I, I don't know if you could, like, let's say you had a breastplate. Like, how far could you travel wearing that? Supposedly, the conquistadors, when they were in Mexico and, South, and um, Peru, they were in uh, jungle-like conditions at times and in sweltering heat, and they were able to wear their armor basically all day. Uh, so, I mean, would it be possible? I mean, I can barely walk down the... Um, a couple of blocks down the street without getting exhausted in my you know, 88 degree North Carolina heat. So, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they, the people were just made of sterner stuff back in those days and they could somehow survive that horrifying disaster. You know, I was giving this game a lot of credit before about not uh, leading people by the nose and all of that, but I really have to point out that the fact that you can have spell casting characters in the party and you're not able to immediately reach a place where you can get spells is a little bit extreme. It, it, it is just... It's absurd that I have like three characters here who are basically all fighting under their potential because they can't... They just... Spells yet, and I don't know where the spell thing is on the overworld map. Maybe it's right next to the main town, and I just don't know what where it is. It's also so precise where you have to go to encounter the town that it gets really obnoxious. Bat bites, bat bites. Fight. Yes. Uh, slash is a bat. Elk is faint. No, I think they're going through some kind of, uh, special, uh, conditions going on right now. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make it back. 
it's tough thinking about running away when somebody's stolen your goods because that means you're not going to get them back. It sort of forces you to fight. And there are already so many overworld encounters. This, this is, that's not acceptable. That there are just so freaking many. Okay. I don't think Conan's going to survive. Misses. Yep. I'm going to have to reload. Okay, back outside. And... See if I can sneak around this forest here. Okay, ten goblins. That doesn't sound too bad. I'm really at the mercy of the RNG here. If I don't get... Uh, More arrows to show. I guess that's not that big of a deal. I could have gone back and got some arrows, but it's not not much of an issue. I'm just really at the mercy here of these random encounters just to explore, which is a you know one of the long-standing design issues of an RPG. How much do you interrupt the exploration issue with combat, or the combat situation with exploration and puzzle solving? And finding a perfect balance of that is actually pretty darn hard. I can't imagine that they had much of a budget for this game or that many people worked on it, so, you know, it was a very small company. And most video game designers were pretty small back then, especially for the PC. But uh, I think we're going to be able to take on these goblins, probably. I wish I knew what to ask to find out where, like, I, I don't know if I could ask, like, neighboring towns or... Places of interest or something. I've, I've just I've, I've been weakened by, you know, years of quest markers and compass pips and everything right now where I just can't find anything without being led by the nose there. And I would be more comfortable out exploring if I could save anywhere. Because if I could do that, you know, I wouldn't mind if I hold these random encounters because I could just reload, but... It causes a lot of anxiety knowing that I have to go all the way back to the town or to the, the level up fortress to do anything. Okay, so let's go farther north. Anything over here? More goblins? I could have walked by a town there and just had no idea. I do love that there are more varied types of encounters here, but those Dark Elves, those Drow, were incredibly powerful. Like, ridiculous. Maybe I'm not even going in the right direction. Maybe the, the Rune Temple was to the right or something. Okay. Get a little bit of gold, at least. What a stench do you want to go here? So that's a swamp, I guess. No. I'll explore each tiny little quadrant here. I don't think the game overall is very long. It's not like the Bard's Tale where you could spend quite a while with it. I think that, you know, it's really just the, the constant random encounters, and I'm wondering if they intentionally put a bajillion random encounters in it just to... Um, Extend the life of the game. Okay. Hopefully there's nothing here and I'm just... Okay, I'm going to try to go across the swamp. Even though that's dangerous. Oop. Whoa. Reptiles. That's a cool image there. Uh, yeah, I don't know how strong these guys are, but... Uh, gets a hold of it, critically hits. Uh, Corvus hits a reptile. And they're not that bad. I mean, they're tougher than the goblins, of course, but they're not as bad as those drow or those spellcasters. I wonder where they took this lizard thing. No gold. Broke ass lizards. Whoa. More water ghosts? Gonna try to get away. Whoa. K 
can't see the other side of the lake and you guys are not that good at swimming. This is hard work. Jesus. I wonder if there's like some uh, bee zombie movie. Yes, I do. Just trying to get to the other side. Maybe I can fight one more ghost. Mentally, oh, I was doing mental damage. I don't know what happens if I lose all of my mental points by mental damage. Do I... Am I dead then? Is it like losing your health points? Or do I just not have... Do I go insane? I'm not sure. Swim across that. Uh, yes. I want there to be a town over here somewhere, but got no idea. Oh boy. Maybe this is just part of the game. You just have to explore as much as you possibly can until you find that rune temple. It just seems like a waste of time to. to spend all of this effort just reloading just to find something you desperately need in order to play the game at all. I mean, these goblins aren't anything. And I lucked out that those those wizard, the wizard and uh, witch didn't cast anything serious, but Corvus is very nearly dead. Yep, there he goes. Killed by a goblin. A lot of gold, though. Okay, anything over here? Uh, did let me run away at least. No. Town, maybe? Town? Nope. Yeah, we're going to add a ton of damage here. I'm just going to explore until my entire party is wiped out. Just to see if I can find anything. And I haven't found any... found nothing so far. Maybe the Rune Temple is in the desert. Maybe I have to go there. Yet yeah, we're almost dead. That's a cool zombie picture. I like that. Yep, everybody dead. Unfortunately, your last party member died. You lose your last chance to make your way to a healer and resurrect the dead one. The master of the dreamers only smiles as he gets this information. Weak ones never win is his only response. And there's the dream master. Yes, I do. Okay, let's see if we can go in the opposite direction now. Into the desert. Even though it's obviously really taxing to our... Wah, immediately... Immediately I step outside and I'm attacked. Okay. There we go. Heat of the desert, here it goes. A troll. Yeah, sure. Okay, troll wasn't that tough. Yes. Ooh, nine skeletons. Let's see if we can fight them. These skeletons were on the uh, the Amiga only intro. As far as I know, the DOS version didn't have this sort of video intro where these skeletons are walking and it shows the Dream Master uh, talking to some guys. So, I don't know why the Amiga got to be special, but whatever. Yeah, these skeletons are kind of tough. Where is that Rune Temple? Maybe I could, Did I ask people where the Rune Temple is? Maybe the healer knows where the Rune Temple is. Hmm. It's a skeleton. I mean, the skeletons aren't that tough. It's just that there's so many of them. They could have at least put the uh, the cities on the map for me to go to. I mean, jeez. D 
to give me a lot of gold. Even though, once again, I'm nearly dead. No. Nope. Let's see if the magic lord casts a spell on us. They know where the rune temple is, apparently. Yep, dead. Frost damage. Okay, I could run away then. Ugh. I just feel like I'm at an impasse with that rune temple thing. If I don't find it, I just I can't really continue fighting. A few minutes later. Okay, we found a new town, Werrick. Let's hope we don't instantly get killed by tough enemies. Seems that they will build new houses here, also in the street as work. I guess they mean construction work. Uh, I did not see what he said. And yes, one of the portraits is Batman. Welcome, my friends. I am Lari, a friend of Rowena. If you need a bed, just ask. Accept? Lari tells you about Rowena that evening. She plans to build a city here, and Lari will become the mayor, so he says. I don't know what that accomplished, really, but... Not gonna buy anything. Just have to go through every door. This town looks a little bigger than Tourmalin. Okay, exit the house, please. Go. A lot of tools for building houses and streets. It's a shed. Okay. So who was Rowena again? That wasn't the drug pusher lady, was it? No, I don't want to leave Warwick. I just got here. See some shelves. A depot. All right. This isn't the right place for you to be. Well, maybe you're right. Don't want to visit strangers. Well, this town is a little bit busy than Tumalin, but it's actually very darn small. It's another, I mean, it just has this one little extra place on it. So unfortunately, this is not going to be progress, really. Unless I can talk to this guy. Wait, where was... Is that where Batman was? Maybe not. Um, there he is, Larry. Um, no, I guess we'll leave. We can't talk to him, so that's basically it. I did rest there, but it didn't do anything but advance time. It didn't heal anyone. So, once again, we are... The heat of the desert? Yeah, I guess so. Whoa, fire ghost. Okay, did a fair bit of damage. It looks pretty dangerous, though. Okay. Conan and Corvus each get most multiple attacks per round, but I don't know if my Valkyrie did. Oh, we're doing a lot of damage, and he's still not dead. I think my Valkyrie might only get a one. Oh, he's breathing fire, of course. For some kind of fire damage. There we go. 16 experience? That's it? For that flaming devil beast from hell? Please run. Jeez. Uh, burned. Why can't I learn these spells? Okay, so I had to reload, of course. And I looked up on those hand-drawn maps where a rune temple is, and apparently I already passed one in this western part of the map, but it was just so precise I didn't click on that exact pixel to find it. And I think there's one here, supposedly. 
there we go, Rune Temple. And I ran around that area a bit, I just, I didn't go in that exact spot. Yeah, I'll save. Okay, create spell. Choose rune representing the origins of the desired spell. Now choose the medium rune, the target of the spell. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. What was that healing spell? Can I go into my inventory? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, Hmm. Maybe I don't have the ability to make a spell yet. Which would definitely be unpleasant. Alright, uh... Maybe you have to study the runes in the manual? But where do we obtain more runes? More we moments later. More runes? I guess there's no point in going to the temple anyway. Which is very frustrating. But at least it's marked on the map now. Well, mummies. I saved at the temple anyway, so I can reload from there if I need to. These guys don't look a lot like mummies. They look like those sorcerer characters. They're reusing a lot of the assets, but I can give them a pass for that because they're, you know, such a small company. Oh, critted one. Good. Critted another. Those crits are really coming in handy. If I didn't have those, this would be a very different experience. There we go. And there's almost no experience. Wonderful. So I may want to go back to town and save that if I can survive on my way back. Critical, nice. I have no idea how critical hits work, if there's some sort of hidden stat, or maybe it's not hidden, I just didn't notice it on there. It's not like having Kirijutsu on the Wizardry 6. Okay, so I managed to save, and now the Rune Temple, or one of them at least, is marked on the map. So, I'm going to try to find another area that I saw. Oh, for goodness sake, Skull Spiders, Magic Lords. Um, no, I have to fight this, if I can. There's supposedly some sort of castle over here that maybe we can interact with, but I have to see if I can find it without dying on the way. The magic system in this is just way too brutal. I, I don't know why they added this thing in here just to... But they added this magic system in here maybe to deliberately separate themselves from... Um, the Bard's Tale, because the Bard's Tale is much, much simpler and more straightforward, and maybe admittedly the magic in the Bard's Tale was a little bit overpowered, because you can just spam these very powerful spells after a while. But, um, yeah, the way that they did it in this game is brutal. Did they throw a knife at the guy in the back row? How did they hit my priest? Oh, well... Dwarves usually have a, a ton of money, stereotypically, you know. They love their gold. But there are so many hostile dwarves over here. And we already used up all the arrows I bought. Fine. Okay, so after many reloads, I managed to go to another place marked on the map, which is actually very close to Moon City, called Rialdo's Castle. And I don't know what this is, so we're going to have to take a look. 
it was punishingly difficult just getting here alive, so... I mean, who knows what this is going to be. Um, yeah, I'll save. Oh, and this seems like a dungeon. There are words carved into the wall. Mighty heroes, if you are really mighty, will surely make your way through this castle without magic. Well, that's not going to be a problem, because I don't have any magic. Nevertheless, there are some places where magic will be necessary. Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. It's extremely what? Oh, crap. It's extremely cold in here. Everybody must eat a ration. Okay, that's not that bad. This is our first, like, dungeon-ish place. Whoa. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll fight this. I think I'm supposed to be here much, much later on. Uh, but anyway, I think this is where I'm going to stop playing. Um, overall, I would say I enjoyed my time with Spirit of Adventure because I spent quite a while playing the old Bard's Tale games back in the day, and this seems very, very simple to that, uh, similar to that. Uh, there's a lot of unpleasantness that they changed about the Bard Tale involving magic, making it much more complicated and confusing, and I just can't figure it out. Maybe it was somewhere in the manual and I missed it, but I really just couldn't... I, I really couldn't get into it, I think, because even though I enjoy the, the Bard's Tale-style combat, not having magic is frustrating and punishing, and not having a map is very irritating, even though the old Bard's Tale, you didn't have just an auto map to use anytime you wanted. Um, it just seems like this is a very... I don't want to come down too hard on it, because I, you know, if you've played those types of Bard's Tale-esque games, then you will enjoy this, and I think there's a lot put into this, and there's a lot of interest, and it's very fun, and just the look and feel of it reminds me nostalgically of a certain time period that I liked. But there's not necessarily enough of this here for me to keep playing. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to continue on after this point, because it's just very, very... It's a lot of the frustration and a lot of the fun is taken out. I can take a lot of the frustration as long as there's a ton of fun there, but if the fun is gone, the frustration is all that you're left with, and it's just kind of boring. So yeah, uh, let me know what you thought of this game, if you enjoyed it, if you thinking about playing it. Uh, I believe that this game is only on Steam, not GOG for some reason. I mean, I'm, I'm going to leave a link in the comment. In the, uh, comment box if you if you want to check it out. Um, yeah, but uh, what do you think of these old type of games? Can you get into this? Can you enjoy it? Do you like not being able to understand where you're going and having a total lack of orientation about where you are at any given time? Or is that just going to frustrate and annoy you? Yeah, so anyway, my name is Michael, and uh, thank you very much, and have a good night. Also, just wanted to show you quickly this uh, monster called Nosferatu, which is taken from the F.W. Murnau film. It looks pretty cool. Though eternity lies before thee, thy work in the land of the living is not done. Return, brave ones. And watch more videos. <laughs>